Hi everyone, I've been working on Project Pisces for three months now. It's hard to believe because it feels so much longer. Today I would like to tell you about the progress I have made so far. For the infrastructure of a good development experience, I set up a GitHub repository on my old laptop. This means I can switch between different versions of my game at any time. Recently I created an automated backup solution that saves files to my old PC. By the way, I also partially automated my YouTube editing. Now for the most interesting stuff. So far I have partially implemented the following. The user interface, lockstep networking, high performance rendering integration, high performance determinism, image to terrain generation and some prototyping. When it comes to the visual aspect of my game, so far I've created a diorama, five 3D models of vehicles and one 3D model of a weapon. I've had a lot of fun collecting loads of great sound effects as well as music for my game and categorize them for future reuse. I also did a little bit of sound designing myself, as you can see here. During these past three months I've learned a lot. This includes a lot of other game development related stuff, which I won't mention here. I managed to create a workflow for myself, which allows me to create a nice 3D asset for my game every 6 to 8 hours. This is still a lot slower than I'd like, but I'm quite proud of the models I've made so far. You can learn more about my workflow and some of the models I've made in some of my previous videos. You'll find the links to these in the description below. The reason I created a diorama for my game was to get a better idea of what my game will look like later on. There's also a link to my video on this subject in this description. There's also a link below if you want to know more about how I created my user interface. I definitely want to create a game with a really great multiplayer experience. That's why I decided to further streamline the user interface experience over the past week. The server browser is now displayed on the start screen instead of a separate screen, so every player can see whenever someone creates a new match. The terrain generation prototype I built splits the input height maps image into multiple images. Then it sets the height information on the terrain tiles accordingly. This way anyone with an image editor will be able to create custom maps for my game. I think this will be a great aspect of my game. You could even create a terrain in Blender for instance and export a height map to use in the game. Currently, it receives an 8K resolution image and outputs a land mass of 4x4 km. Unity's terrain isn't that well optimized for my needs. In future, these tiles will only be displayed based on proximity to the camera. This will really improve the performance. Thanks to a very helpful tip from one of my viewers, I discovered a great asset on the Unity Asset Store that made it possible to integrate this high performance rendering solution into my game. My integration still leaves a lot to be desired and I'll improve it in the future, not only for an even better performance, but also for my sanity as a developer. Some parts of my game will have to be deterministic, which means they will have to be calculated exactly the same way on different machines. This is less straightforward than you might think and is also less efficient. This is why I spend a lot of time separating code that needs to be deterministic from the non-deterministic code. It seems like I have managed to do that as well as possible. However, I still need to be careful not to mix the two by accident. Then all hell would break loose. The basic of my lockstep networking solution is now working fine and I already have a server running that takes care of matchmaking and nut hole punching. The matchmaking is not completely working yet and it's something I'm still working on. I created a scene demonstrating how the lockstep networking, the determinism and some simple gameplay logic are working together. In this demo scene I can order units around in a multiplayer session. The vehicles are always synchronized to the exact same position on both players' PCs. 
The next video will be quite different. I've decided to dedicate it to how I work in general. How do I manage to keep up my focus and concentration consistently during the entire working day? I think this is a really important subject for anyone who works on their own creative projects of any kind. Hit the subscribe button and smash that bell button to get notified as soon as my next video comes out. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Project Pisces.